guys? Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm obviously not out in the field shooting. I'm in my garage and I'm going to be doing a video going over uh, my build project, the Franken 18, which is essentially a, a Mark 18 inspired uh, pistol in this case um, that's super tough and super rugged. Um, there's no corners that were cut except for in my wallet. Um, that's the only difference. Uh, pretty much this build is just as tough and reliable as a Daniel Defense Mark 18 off the shelf. So I'm going to go into the parts, um, go into why I chose them, and then the uh, most important part, which is probably the reason why you're watching this video, the cost of everything. So let's get into it. All right guys, so we're gonna start up here in the front, work our way back. Uh, first and foremost is the upper. So I bought a, an upper, it's the Cold Hammer Forged uh, Chrome Lined Upper from Palmetto State Armory. It's a 10 and a half inch barrel, carbine length gas system. And it would have been a lot cheaper, but I did run into some issues with that. And that is the barrel nut would not come off. I torched it, I froze it, I used a monkey wrench, I used a torque wrench that broke at 150 foot pounds and nothing took it off. Um, I mean, this thing is chewed up. The only thing that worked is that I cut it. And I didn't actually even cut it all the way, but as soon as I, I got these cuts in it, it, it screwed off at that point. So, and that did ruin the upper receiver that was on it. Um, so I did have to use an arrow precision upper receiver, which I already had. So that's up to you if you want to take that into account with price. So the Palmetto State Armory upper was $299. The Geisley rail I got from Jet.com using codes for $220, which is a really good deal for the desert dirt color. This thing is super cool looking. I mean, why wouldn't you get this color? And the reason I went with the Geisley rail is I wanted a really, really tough rail um, that didn't weigh a ton. I have the KMR Alpha on my Bravo company and I love it, but I wanted to replicate the Mark 18, which is a bomb-proof firearm, and so I wanted to get the toughest rail on the market that didn't weigh a ton, and that was the Geisley um, Mark 8. They, they have the Mark 4, which has the Picatinny rails up here. That's more preference. Um, it does add a little bit more weight, which is why I went with this guy, and I love it. So moving on back to the bolt carrier group, um, I did spring for the Daniel Defense bolt carrier group. I didn't want to cut corners on that or the barrel. I understand the barrel came from Palmetto State Armory, but it's an FN barrel, cold hammer forge, chrome line, solid barrel. Um, so the Daniel Defense, now you don't have to spend $185, $190 on this thing. Do some shopping, do some research. Look around a little bit, take a couple of days, wait for a sale maybe if you can't find it cheap. I got this Daniel Defense for 165, which is pretty good. It's gone even a lot lower at primaryarms.com for, gosh, I don't remember. I wanna say it was around 120, 130, maybe 140, around there. But they do go on sale and you can save a lot of money there. The lower receivers, you guys can see Aero Precision, this was $69, and these are awesome lowers. They have the tension screw underneath the grip. Um, the lower parts kit is a CMMG parts kit, and that was about $65. Um, again, it is on the budget side. It may not be the smoothest and light breaking trigger out there, but it's gonna, it's gonna do the job. And moving on back some more, we have the Bravo Company uh, pistol buffer kit, which comes with the QD socket end plate. Castle nut, your pistol buffer tube, um, carbine buffer, and uh, springs. I actually had an H2 buffer laying around from a Spikes Tactical um, kit, so I threw that in there instead. But regardless, the Bravo Company does come with everything you would need um, for, I think that was about 50 bucks you could find it for. Do your shopping. Um, a lot of places you could call, I'm not going to name names, but you could call them and actually get discounts over the phone. A lot of you guys probably know who I'm talking about. And the reason I went with the Bravo Company uh, pistol buffer kit is one, because it comes with everything you need for a really good price. Um, and two, they are known for pushing out quality stuff. I have a lot of other Bravo Company stuff and I have never had an issue with anything from them. The SP Tactical Brace, I chose that because I like it. That's gonna be a piece that's gonna be more personal preference. Um, I know a lot of people out there like the, um, what is it, the, the blade, something like that. Um, to me, it looks a little brittle, um, thin plastic. 
I feel like if you were to drop that, um, it could definitely crack or something. So I've never tried one, I don't know, I could be totally wrong. But this is what I went with. So when you look at the total for all of this stuff, um, as far as the bare bones firearm, which is the upper with the barrel, um, the handguard, the bolt carrier group, the a complete lower with uh, no pistol with no pistol brace, um, that total for that entire thing is nine hundred and fifteen dollars. Now compare that to the Daniel Defense Mark eighteen which I've seen for around 1600 for a black one. And the FDE Mark 18 is around $1,800 and $1,900. And that's if you could find one in stock. I haven't even been able to find one in stock anywhere. So they're not easy to find. Once you start adding stuff like the, um, I put a MBUS Pro front sight and I have a Troy rear sight um, only because I, I already had one laying around but I bought this for $55 on sale. Um, I think it was primary arms. And the front sight was this MBUS Pro for Magpul was $67. And the SBM4 brace was $87. So if you put that into account, you're still at around $1,124, which is still way lower than the Daniel Defense Mark 18. And that has you fully equipped, ready to rock and roll, at least with iron sights. Now if you take that a step further and get an optic for it, in my opinion, the Aimpoint Pro is again the toughest and most rugged optic for the lowest price. I got this from RifleGear.com for $399, um, which is a pretty ballpark price. Um, you could get them cheaper, uh, some places have them for a little bit more. And then this Streamlight, which comes with a Picatinny rail attachment, was $89 on Amazon. That's a really good deal considering the Surefire ones, um, if you don't get the pressure switch, will be about two, I think 216 on Amazon. If you want a pressure switch, that's going to put you up close to around $300. Um, I did get the Arasaka inline mount because it keeps me as close to the rail as possible. It's definitely another add-on that's not necessarily, but um, definitely something that I preferred to have. Um, but even then, that was only $37. All right guys, well that's it for today's video. Um, if you guys like these types of videos, let me know in the comments below. I, I, I'd be happy to do more of them. I have a couple products actually on the way to review and test. Um, one of them is an optic, and the other one's gonna be something um, actually pretty much every gun owner can use. So stay tuned for those, um, and if you guys have any questions about uh, this specific build, um, again, just put them in the comments. I'll try to answer you guys to the best of my knowledge. And uh, please hit that subscribe button down below. I would appreciate it so much. You guys are so awesome. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.